more on this, I'm joined by Talib Kuchuk John, who is a member of parliament from the ruling ARC party from Ankara. Talib, good to have you on the show. As we saw in Omar's report with these reinstatements, why do you think some officials were wrongfully accused in the post-coup arrests and detentions? Well, first of all, uh, let me uh, underline the fact that the state of emergency and the measures in Turkey were taken, taken in order to protect Turkish democracy and constitutional institutions. You know, in Turkey, uh, we had existential threats. Uh, there is a terrorism on the one hand, and also there was a coup plot uh, in Turkey. And of course, it is, as I say, the responsibility of the state to take some measures for the prevention of uh, constitutional rights of the people. And of course, during that time, uh, uh, thousands of people were dismissed from their duties and also they were suspended. A number of institutions were closed down. Talib, you mentioned the state of emergency, which has been consecutively renewed since the coup. What would you say to critics who argue that it's very difficult for the judiciary to be independent during a state of emergency? Well, remember that Turkey had to dismiss more than 3,000 judges and prosecutors. And in order to fill the gap in that critical time, the Turkish uh, state uh, decided to uh, declare emergency uh, law, the state of emergency. Uh, this is a constitutional instrument, first of all. And no one can deny that under these circumstances, the law be will be uh, lifted. The law will not be functioning. But what happens under the state of emergency law is that the people who were not happy with the decisions of the decree, uh, decrees, they are not able to go to the courts. They cannot appeal to the courts. This is something that might be criticized, but what happened now that Turkish uh, parliament, Turkish government, decided to establish an inquiry commission to look at the measures uh, taken by the uh, decree laws. And now it is a time to provide an internal remedy, legal remedy, for those who would like to object to these decisions. Uh, now, uh, uh, in uh, January of this year, that uh, inquiry uh, commission was established with seven leading members and more than 200 staff that will support the uh, uh, applications. But hold on, Talib, this new commission that you're talking about that was set up in January, is this the result of some mistakes that were made by the authorities after the coup? Uh, well, it is uh, not a matter of mistake, but as I said, but during the uh, uh, military coup attempt, and even before that, there were many people who were under investigation, and there were many people who were involved in the coup attempt. And the, the state, the government, had to take bold decisions in order to protect the lives of people here and the public order. And the, there was a dust in the air at that stage. And now it is time we say the dust is cleared. Now let's look at all the uh, issues more clearly more objectively and more in, in, a, uh, in a more uh, patient way. And uh, all the details will come on the table. Uh, all the debates uh, will be taken fairly. I think, as I said, this is the way that the rule of law is working. Thank you for answering our questions, Talib. Always a pleasure. Talib Kuchukjan, Member of Parliament from the ruling AK Party, joining us from Ankara.